Hi there! Welcome to a non-Planet Coaster gaming video. Today I will feature a labyrinth I've made in Conan Exiles. So if this should interest you, stay tuned and stick around. So before going any further, I want to quickly clarify the difference between mazes and labyrinths. Uh, because usually when uh, you say a labyrinth, people have this, they think of these images. And these images are mazes. A mazes have uh, an entrance and an exit. Uh, one way to go in and another way to uh, exit out of that maze. And usually they'll have like little blocks or like dead ends where you have to turn around and go a different way to get to the center and then get out to the other end. So th these are these are mazes. Here are a couple of images of labyrinths. As you can see from these images, there's only one way in. There's no dead ends. It's a straight shot into the center. And once you get to the center, there's more than likely a place to stand for a few minutes or sit, ideally, and contemplate things. Uh, it's a very healing, uh, meditative experience walking the labyrinths. Anyhow, there's different kinds of shaped labyrinths. Uh, there's a uh, the half circuit. There, they come in heart shapes. Uh, the well-known famous Chartres 11 circuit labyrinth pattern. There's the five, I'm, I like the five circuit one. It take, It's a nice size uh, walking labyrinth. And uh, here you'll see a picture of the five circuit Chartres labyrinth. Uh, rainbow colored and I, this is my favorite. Uh, I've actually made one in real life uh, that I can roll up and take with me wherever I want to go whether it's to the mountains or to the park or wherever and uh, but I've reversed it as in this picture uh, well no actually I, it's very similar but I have it connected to the the colors of the chakras so beginning with the uh, red chakra or a root chakra and then the center is all purple but yeah a little something about me anyhow I've been just in love with labyrinths and prior to playing uh, Planet Coaster and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 I played games on Facebook uh, for uh, people that have been with Facebook forever. Uh, they had games back then. I don't know if they are still around. I closed my 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 gaming accounts with them, but um, they had Farm Town, and in my cool farm, I had a really dope labyrinth. And my friends would come to my farm and walk the labyrinth, and I'd walk the labyrinth. So I had a really cool labyrinth there. And I've tried looking on my albums and just going through the internet trying to see if I could find any uploads of my pictures and I they've archived them and then same with Fantasy Kingdom oh my gosh Fantasy Kingdom was such a beautiful game um, and they had just it was all fantasy themed and so I made quite a lot of labyrinths in each of the different kingdoms I had an ice labyrinth and I had a like a an old medieval labyrinth in a medieval village and yeah I made like a crap ton of labyrinths in those games so now finally we come to Conan I don't know why well actually I have made a labyrinth in Planet Coaster but um the park I don't know if I'm gonna, gonna finish it it was anyhow that's another story but uh today we're talking about Conan <laughs> not Planet Coaster so here I am at the back entrance to the monstrosity, also known as Smiling Space, and um, you'll see me running on up uh, the back way through my base up to where I have the labyrinth. It's outside of the base, so it's not protected by any guards or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm running up here. My apologies for suffering through uh, watching it render in. I'm learning how to uh, edit and fast forward, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. <laughs> but anyhow, so it's rendering in, and then once it renders in, I go over to the wash basins, 
and uh, kind of have it set it up to where you kind of like, you know, ritualistic, you know, kind of cleanse yourself and then you go and maybe have some healing waters and then you sit and kind of prepare yourself to go into the labyrinth and you see me do that here. So I go get a drink of water at the fountain and sit down trying to take in some of the views of the area but it's stormy out and it's really hard to see. You'll also see the aqueduct and my base is on top of that and or the main base is on top of that and the labyrinth is down below as you can see. And then I start walking the labyrinth and as you, as you can see it, I can't just walk unless I'm overburdened. I can walk kind of normally but I kind of have this uh, weird step to it and so I've sped it up and I look like I walk a little bit normal but it's basically like a jogging through normally if you go through a labyrinth you don't want to run or jog through it it's meant to take your time and walk reflectively through it but for the sake of the video it is what it is um, so you'll also see that you know I'll make some turns and I'll stop and and it's it's meant to kind of keep you engaged. So some of the simpler patterned labyrinths are great for relaxing. Uh, they help with stress, anxiety, anger, uh, panic attacks. They're good for young people. And then some other patterns like this pattern and the 11 circuit pattern um, are also really they're great mental challenges and uh, involvement. So we make it to the center of the labyrinth You'll see uh, two benches where you can sit on and chill out, a fountain where you can get something to drink, and I covered the little lion part with a petrified egg, and I've got a goddess that I've put, a goddess statue that I've put twice, but I, I really like it. It's got a really nice vibe in the center of it. So we're going to work our way back out of uh, the labyrinth and tell you a little bit about how I made this. Uh, I watched a video on one of the prominent uh, Conan Exile YouTubers, uh, Eradication, and they featured uh, the maze set from the bazaar. And as soon as I saw their video, I was like, oh, I have to, I have to have this. I don't really get a lot of stuff from the bazaar, but this was a must-have. And uh, and I just, I, I'm really glad I got it. It was worth it. And the only thing that I don't like about it is, as you can see, you can see all the vines at the bottom. It's not like we're in Planet Coaster. You can sink it in. And I wish it would have sunk into the the tiles or the, the yeah, the, the, the floor. Um, so it would have been a little bit more cohesive or if I could have covered it up with something. But it is what it is. And I was able to make a labyrinth with it. So now I'm gonna take you Underneath the labyrinth, I uh, made a tunnel or a passageway for you to get from one area to the next area. Uh, I did that because I had to build up with all the foundation pieces to make it level to make the labyrinth on top. You'll see up above, I show, uh, you'll see some of my base up at the top and the light that's from my Temple of Mithras. And uh, so you can see some of the above. I thought that was a cool shot. So we go through the tunnel and on the other side you'll see to the left the entrance to my stables and over there there's a one star gnarly wolf boss and I have my bears protecting that entrance. Making a quick look to the right you'll see the top of the aqueduct leading into the uh, frozen snowy area. There's a giant lake. And then we run through the tunnel again and get to the other side. And we're going to run on up to the back entrance of my bottom part of my base. And you're going to see my badass spiders, uh, Charlotte and Shelob. They are amazing thralls and guards. And we will close the video here. If you have any questions about the build or anything that you saw in this video, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, I will read them and get back with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you enjoy the content of this channel, please consider subscribing. And uh, I look forward to having you all tune in next month. 
Have a great day. Peace and love, y'all.